Hi guys, Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Mike here. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut and paste on the iPad in iOS 11. Along the top of the on-screen keyboard on the iPad, you have six new controls, three on the left and three on the right. The three on the left are what I'm going to focus on in this video. Long press on a word or a group of words. To copy the text, drag the handles up or down until the entire quote is selected. Then, long press and tap copy. You can use the select all option to paste the text Open a new note, long press and tap paste. The text is now copied to the clipboard. Notice at the top of the keyboard you have six controls, three on the left and three on the right. These are app specific and will change as, for example, text is selected. When the text is selected, you see a pair of scissors appear. The controls on the left, shown in the box, can copy and paste the most recent content on the clipboard into any app where they are available. You can use the controls to copy other content as well, as long as it is already copied to the clipboard. Let me show you how that works. Select and copy the text as normal. Instead of long pressing and tapping paste, hit the square in the left hand group of controls. As you can see, the quote has been pasted. There are now two copies of that quote pasted in the same note. To remove it, hit the left hand arrow from the left hand group of controls. To put it back, hit the middle arrow. And as you can see, the quote is put back. Long press on the globe from the on-screen keyboard. Choose the Bitmoji keyboard and select a Bitmoji. When you see the green line, instead of long pressing and tapping paste, just tap the square. The Bitmoji you selected will appear and you can now send it normally. Instead of long pressing and tapping paste here, just tap the square in the left hand group of controls. Let's move to Facebook. Instead of long pressing and tapping paste, hit the square from the left hand group of controls again. To post this, just tap post. Let's move to an email. Open an email, address the message, place your cursor in the body text area of the email message, and instead of long pressing and tapping paste, hit the square in the left hand group of controls again. The quote is pasted. To send the email, tap send. As you can see, that's the email that I just received. And yes, my nickname is Gummy Bear. I've shown you how to cut, copy, or paste the most recent content on the clipboard using the 
undo, redo, and paste recent shortcuts from the on-screen keyboard. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.